join me for Trash to Treasure Thursday and find out where this charming artwork came from for the dollhouse or for the American Girls dollhouse. Well, it's that time of year again. You might be saying, what time of year is she talking about? It's time to take down last year's calendar, this is last year's, and put up a new one. But before you throw away last year's calendar, look at the back. Many calendars, including this one that I bought at Dollar Tree, have thumbnail type pictures from the calendar on the back. This one even has a bonus that's slightly bigger. A lot of these will work in your dollhouses. In fact, this is one of the reasons I bought this calendar was because I wanted to use some of these flower pictures in my dollhouse. And I've decided this time I'm going to go very modern. You could frame these. You can make a frame. We've made frames before. Uh, you can buy a frame. But I am going to do a frameless picture this time. Because these pictures kind of reminded me, I've already started to cut this out. These kind of reminded me of something I saw one time several years ago. It was like a picture of like an art gallery or a gallery in a museum. And they had floral pictures. I don't know if they were paintings or photographs. I have no idea. But they were mounted in a kind of frameless. They were just a canvas. And they looked really cool. And when I saw this picture, this ultra close-up, I thought, oh, that is going to be really, really cool in my dollhouse. So I've cut it out. And I've cut a piece of wood. This is a square that's one and three quarters of an inch square. And I know I want about there. So I'm going to kind of just kind of start bending so that I know about where I want to lay this. And to get it started, I'm going to use just some glue stick. I wouldn't depend on this to glue it down with, but this will allow me to make sure it's positioned where I want it. And then, when I make sure I've got it where I want it, and I'm not going to center it. I, I don't want this flower centered. I want it kind of off-center. There. Now, now that I've got it on there, I'm going to put the cap on my glue stick. I, I ruin more glue sticks by not putting the lids on them. Then we're going to cut the corners so that we won't have too much bulk in our corners. Fold this up, and then we're just going to use some tacky glue, and I happen to have some um, quick dry tacky here today. I haven't gotten to town to get more fast grab tacky, and I'm out of that again. Uh, but we're just going to run some glue here, and hopefully I won't have to clamp this because I just realized I left my clamps out on my dining room table where I'm working on my dollhouse. I've been running back and forth setting up to do the video this morning because I've got half my stuff out there and half of it in here. But we are going to just fold this over. And there. Then we'll let this dry and when it's all dry it'll be ready to hang in the dollhouse and that will look really cool. In fact I think if you watch when we put the Brookfield back together, this will probably go on the wall in the Brookfield. That's kind of where I was thinking. But now let's look. I'm going to have to put some weight on that. Let's look at this bigger picture. 
if you're working, and by the way, these will work equally well in a Barbie size because they're close enough in scale, it'll just be a smaller picture for Barbie where it will be a bigger picture in the dollhouse. A little too small for American Girl, although you could probably frame some pictures and put them like on a table for American Girl. Let's cut out this bigger picture. And I have, and your calendars come in all different different uh, designs. I have some really cool ones put away and I can't get to them right now because I've got too much stuff stored in my house right now. We're still going through my mom's stuff from when she passed away and right now it's all in my way in my house because my son wanted to get moved into her house and then want all of grandma's stuff. So I've got it all. Alright, so for this one All right, so we'll do the same thing for American Girl. We'll just glue this down. And the glue stick, like I said, the glue stick won't really keep it in place permanently, but it will allow us to manipulate this and not have our picture be sliding all over for us. Then I'm just gonna miter the corners the same way. This one I think I might actually fold up. sounds like the cat is trying to get in my office. I closed my office door because my son wanted to do stuff on his computer out in the other room. I can hear him talking in the background. But the cat wants to join me. He, the cat seems to think my office is for him. Alright, so I'll glue these corners down. Because we don't, we want to cover up the edges of this foam core, including the corners. So when this is dry, we'll be able to, I'll be able to fold it. You fold it basically. It's just like you're wrapping a present. We're just going to fold this around. So I'm going to go ahead and get this wrapped, and when the glue is dry. I'll come back and show you how these look. Alright, so now the glue is dry on both of these. They're ready to install in, in their respective rooms. And I think they'd look great. I can't wait to put this into the Brookfield. So be sure and check out when I put the Brookfield back together after I'm done with the updates on it. So you can see this one in place. This one will have to wait till I get some walls for the American Girls, but I think that's going to be really cool. And if you did like I did and got some glue on it, I will probably coat this with a matte Mod Podge to cover up that spot if I can't get it off. But I think this makes some wonderful, kind of modern looking art for our dollhouse, or Barbie would enjoy this one too. So I hope you enjoyed today's Trash to Treasure project. Be sure and check the artwork on the back of your calendar and see what you've got to use for your dollhouse. Join me next week and see what we do then. Bye.